Well, we've had a very nice day here in northern Utah, and I would imagine southern Utah was just a little warm. Nice. Yes. Yeah, up into the 80s today. And pretty breezy out there. So tomorrow, close to 90 again for much of the state. And then we're going to issue some flood concerns for you. So the National Weather Service has posted some flood watches for southeastern Utah starting at noon tomorrow, taking you through Wednesday night at midnight. We have the breezy conditions, but mostly clear conditions here across Utah. It's a warm wind out of the south, which allowed us to warm up to about 90 for many of you today. At 10 p.m., we'll have 60s and 70s here across the state. Tomorrow morning feels good when you wake up if you like the cooler temps. 50s and 60s early in the day and then we're going to be cooling down as we head into the second half of the week. But tomorrow here across Utah, sunny for Salt Lake near 90 degrees again, 76 for Park City, Moab near 80 with a chance for some evening showers and thunderstorms and for St. George tomorrow, mostly sunny 92. Our rainfall forecast over the next 48 hours basically concentrated down into southeastern Utah for our highest rain total south of I-70 and east of I-15. Areas of blue from Kanab up through Hanksville, Moab, Green River, down towards the four corners. Everything in blue is more than half of an inch of rain with a few of those areas potentially topping out closer to an inch, inch and a half. And then our flash flooding potential will start to go up middle of the week. So for tomorrow, it's a probable rating for Canyonlands. Glen Canyon, Natural Bridges, and Grand Gulch, and it's possible everywhere else, so stay weather aware. St. George, you're about 90 degrees tomorrow, low 90s for you, 86 on Wednesday, 88 on Thursday. You're going to have your best chance for storms Wednesday, Wednesday night. And for Salt Lake City, we look at our air quality forecast for the next couple of days, and that's going to be improving by Wednesday as we see some storms moving in. So Wednesday, we're back to good air quality, but for tomorrow, some more moderate air. Let me show you what this could look like the next couple of days on our future cast, starting with tomorrow afternoon, 5 p.m., most thunderstorms into southeastern Utah. We head into Wednesday afternoon. Same thing, especially as we head into the overnight hours Wednesday night. And then by Thursday, we'll keep a few of those isolated storms into the region. Friday 76. Saturday, you're close to 80 degrees this weekend with sunshine for Salt Lake as ridging returns. So for Salt Lake, we're tracking widely scattered storms Wednesday, Wednesday night and Thursday. Now, of course, the big question is, OK, well, now that we're ending September, heading into October in week two, what kind of temperatures can we expect to start the month? You can expect to start October with above average temperatures. So we started September with above average temperatures. Remember, we were close to 105, 107 for about a week. We're also going to end the month with warm temperatures. And then as we take you through the 3rd of October, above average. Now, above average just means more than 80 degrees. 80 is a normal high this time of year. So, well, if we, even if we're just in the mid 80s, that's above average. And for next Monday, 83 degrees. So we do have some more warm or at least mild weather on the way. But for this weekend, plenty of sunshine with some widely scattered storms through the middle of the week.